Right, just picked up another VCR. I'm not sure why I keep buying these things, except they're kind of fun to work on. And, well, I'll tell you the reason. I'll tell you the story. Uh, during the pandemic, I needed a VCR to do some tape copying, and I uh, could not go to a Goodwill. So I ended up having to buy one on eBay. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it, maybe 15 bucks shipping. But you can buy these things for 5 or $6. So I'm going to get a little... Uh, stockpile of them to make sure I don't uh, ever run out. But anyway, this one's just a mono only uh, Hitachi. Not sure what year it was made. I think it's a little bit older. It's one of the little cheap ones, I'm sure. But um, the main reason I picked this up is it comes with the remote. When you get a remote with a, a VCR for under 10 bucks, uh, that's a good deal. So I'll try plugging it in and put a tape in it and see what happens. All right, this is plugged in and powered on. Got a tape here. Let's see what happens. It threads it. Playing. Fast forward. Oh, I pulled the fast forward and it ejected the tape and it ate the tape. Right here. So, looks like this one's got a problem. First thing we'll do is uh, clean the mode switch and see if that fixes it. Alright, well this one appears to be a true Hitachi Unit it doesn't say uh, it's not one of those Funai rebranded ones. Um, so it's a little different than what I'm working on lately, but all of these are pretty much the same. Um, you know, these late ones, single board uh, system. So first thing to do is to just pop the top off or the front off of it. It's just these little tabs. There's usually some tabs in the bottom. off and then there's just a few screws here that looks like uh, well, at least four and what we're going to do is just pull the chassis out to get to the mode control switch that and that's generally what's wrong with these things when they uh, start eating tapes and seem to be confused about what position they're in. Mode control switch is what you know, tells the VCR what it's trying to do or what it thinks it's doing. Okay. Take the four screws out and nothing's moving yet, so this could be one of those that's got a oh, maybe there's one more screw back here. Uh, I think it's got a screw in the middle, so it may be one of those where you gotta pull a board out in order to uh Get the thing, get the chassis out. So let me check that out first. Okay, this one was actually pretty easy. It was just a little stuck on there, but it came right out uh, without disconnecting any um, ribbon cables or anything. It has these little built in connectors right back here, here, and here that plug into connectors on the bottom. It's very convenient. I like this design. This is pretty cool. So anyway, you know, normally the mode switch is somewhere mounted on the mother on this big board, but on this particular one, it looks like 
this is it right here mounted on the chassis so I think I'll just take that little screw out and see if that uh, see what's behind there okay I removed that little screw from right there and wiggled this off and it is keyed see it's got a little flat spot there on it that matches up to the flat spot on that post that does look like the mode switch I'm going to go ahead and try popping that off and yeah it turns so I'm going to pop that off and clean it out all right let's see should be able to just get something in here and get this apart let's see if it not worked on this type so maybe you gotta squeeze these in oh, Almost not too far there it goes and there's the wipers and there's the very dirty mode switch. So let's clean that up. I'm going to use a little uh, deoxid here. I'll just spray some on uh, a Q-tip. Maybe I'll spray it right on that. I'll use a Q-tip to kind of Okay, and I'll spray a little bit on the top of the switch too. And I'll go down this Q-tip and just carefully wipe it this way. And I usually want to just kind of bend those up just a little bit to make good contact. in there pop it together and we'll turn it a little bit let's see install that and see if that uh, makes it all better all right got the mode switch reinstalled the keyed properly and everything else looks like it's in really good shape the belts um, don't look worn or glazed or anything so I think I'll just pop this back in the chassis and see what happens right, it's just it's like got some little plastic alignment pins on it here to kind of get it aligned with the connectors I guess let me see if I can drop this thing in there yeah, it seems to line up good 
go ahead and put the screws back in. Let me pull that out just to make sure that yeah, I think it's, I think that's working. I like that. Okay, put the screws in and uh, probably pull this off if it's easily removable. Maybe not. Let's see if I can get in there and clean the heads. Might be have to do it through this. It looks like it's actually screwed down. Well, that's okay. Heads look pretty clean. All right, I went ahead and cleaned the tape heads and tape path, which I've done before in other videos. So don't really need to repeat that. It's all back in. The front's back on. Let's try the tape again. Play. Looks like it's playing it. Stop. Fast forward. Looks good. Stop. Rewind. Time. I think it's hitting that bad spot on the tape where it ate it before. A little bit of racket. And let's hit stop and eject. And there we go. Ejected without eating the tape. So this is a fairly typical problem uh, when you buy these from um, from the thrift store. Uh, dirty mode switches. This one was actually kind of a dream to work on because it was designed to be worked on. Um, you know, no cables to disconnect, just four screws and the whole chassis pops right out. Even though it is a later model unit, it most a lot of those are other manufacturer Funai uh, late model units uh, just weren't meant to be uh, disassembled. In fact, they're, the cables are soldered together and it's tougher to work on. This one was very easy. So it looks like it's ready to go. I'll put the top on and uh, plug it into a TV and see what happens. Alright, here it is all put back together. Connected up to a TV. Let's hit uh, play. Oh, it seems to work pretty well. Fast forward, rewind, looking pretty good, stop, and eject. Alright, so this one looks like it's going to be a good one.